Hello, this is Tesla Travis, and this video is going to be about my first month of solar production with Tesla Solar. Let's do it. All right. Well, my location is Southern California, and I live just above San Diego in the Temecula Valley. Uh, we get lots of sun down here, so solar's very popular. Everybody seems to be getting it um, on older houses. I think all the new houses are required to get it, but everybody seems to be jumping on the solar bandwagon because they can save uh, money over paying their electric bill. Um, as you can see, uh, my panels, I have uh, 12.24 kilowatts, which is 36 panels at 340 watts a panel. They are Q-Cell PV panels. Um, they're quite big. Uh, when they were installing them, I stood next to them and they looked a lot bigger when I was close to them. Uh, my panel, my garage faces south. So my panels, the way my roof is, the panels pretty much face east and west. The big array that I have on my house, my roof, is facing west. So during the summer, longer days of summer and sunlight, um, my west facing uh, array should get a lot more power. Now with my solar production, uh, most of the days were sunny, but obviously you get clouds sporadically throughout the day. And some days, uh, I think maybe two or three days, it was pretty much cloudy all day long. But for the most part, it's pretty consistent with the solar production. I used two different apps to track my solar production. And I'll show you both of those. And they both give the exact same information. Um, one of them gives a little bit more information than the other one. But, you know, after you track your solar production for a while, you tend to just look at the production per day and per month numbers. But it is kind of interesting, I would say, when you're looking outside to see where the sun comes up, where it goes down, where it's hitting your roof, and how many clouds are out that day. You can have a totally cloudy day, but it still be bright outside and you get tons of production on solar. There's a myth that if there's clouds out that you don't get any solar production, but that's not true. You get lots of production. Well, this is my solar production inside the Tesla app. Um, it pretty much in January, I got between 30 and 40 kilowatts. Um, January 7th is when they turned on my solar, so it's not a full month of January. I'll do another video on February. We'll show the whole month. Um, I also signed up for Solar Edge, so I'll show you the production in the Solar Edge app. I had to call Tesla and ask them to set up a Solar Edge account. My inverter is Solar Edge, so if you call up Tesla and say, set me up a Solar Edge account, they have to set it up for you. You can't call Solar Edge yourself. So I called Tesla, they set it up, they sent me the login. So I logged into my uh, Solar Edge app and it showed me just a little bit more information about my production. And as you can see, I think uh, the Solar Edge app, I started about a week later, like the 14th or so. So the Solar Edge app shows one week less than the Tesla app for January. But um, they all show the same numbers on the same days. So in February, all the numbers and days should match exactly because I'll have both apps. But yeah, between 30 and 40 kilowatts. All right, so that's been my solar production in January. So uh, I'm going to keep posting these videos on my production, on my electric bill, and how everything's going to uh, find out all the numbers and everything to see how well solar's been doing than uh, paying the electric company so like and subscribe and uh i'll see you in the next one <laughs>